Hey everyone, it's Sky Mocha. Today, I decided to create an NPM package that would make creating quiz bots for Discord much, much simpler so that all of the actual hard work is done for you. As a result, I'm going to show you how quick it is to set up your very own quiz bot and add an infinite amount of questions. Firstly, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install my NPM package, NPMI discord-quiz. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to import it into your actual index.js. So var dquiz is equal to require discord quiz. Following, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to actually add questions. So dquiz.addQuestion, when was the war of 1812? You're going to want to add a, the correct answer, which I believe is 1812. And then you are going to want to add exactly three false answers. So the first one, we're going to say 1800. Next, we're going to say 1777. And then we are going to say 2020. Keep in mind, these two have to be strings. While this third one here is going to be an array of exactly three strings, so you need the brackets around it. Next, for testing purposes, we can do console.log db quiz or dquiz dot get questions, or we could do dquiz dot log questions. And now for the actual command, if message dot content dot to lowercase dot starts with and then we're just going to do quiz. We are going to want to do dquiz.quiz and then pass through message. We're going to pass the time in seconds that we are giving the user. So I will put in 10. And then we are going to put in the color of the embed. So for this, I'm going to do just a pink color. So this is the hex for cherry blossom pink and it's going to want to be a string. And that is it. This is all the code you need for a simple, very, very simple quiz bot for Discord.js using my NPM package. To run, all we have to do is no dot. It will say here all the questions we have. And if we test it, quiz, when was the War of 1812, 2020? 1812. And if we go for the right answer, it'll say we got it correct. If we go for an incorrect answer, it'll say we got it wrong. The questions are always going to be A through D, and they are always going to be shuffled. A couple caveats with this is you are going to have to wait for all of the reactions to show up on the message before actually submitting the quiz. And the first person out of anyone to submit the quiz is the person who is going to receive credit for either getting it right or wrong. If you want to add more questions, all you have to do is dquiz add question. And we're just going to say, um, we're just going to do a key spam here. The answer is yes. And we're going to say no, no, and no. So if we rerun this, we'll see that it shows here both questions. We can do quiz here. This time it shows the incorrect one. We'll just pick a random one. I got it wrong. Nope, it does not want to show the correct one again. Here we go. After the third time, it will say... The question is just a key spam. And then if I click B for yes, it'll give the correct answer. And this is showing times up because we did not answer this question here. So that is it for this package. That's all there is to it. I will continue adding to it over time in order to make it better and possibly a more user-friendly and customizable experience. If you like this video, it would mean a lot if you liked, comment, subscribed, and also join the Discord channel in the description. There you can get help for your coding problems or just talk and hang out with other like-minded people. I hope to see you all in the next video. And if I make more updates to this NPM package, I will be making more videos alongside those changes. Goodbye!